Are you ready to unleash the full potential of leveling up Minty to max level? Well, get ready to level up like never before as I reveal the top secrets, hidden techniques to help you conquer every challenge that stands in your way. This is the ultimate Minty guide to max level in Gosa Tabar. Now, a quick brief on how much experience you need for each level before we get started. Level one, you will need 50K, but I had the Godfather pack. I started at level two, so questioning on that one. But also, level three is going to be 75K, and then level four is gonna be 150K, and then the last one, oh my God, this one is actually a grind, is 325K. That is a grind to level five. A very very grind they switched this up I just wanted to update you guys on that so now now let's talk about the turning quest I would say there are three items that's worth making sure you get out with and saving them one is going to be the NVGs 18 all you have to do is turn one of these in and you will get 6k experience from this if you see any of these they're really expensive ones I'll say turn those in, man. Sometimes the money is worth it, but if you're trying to get the quest done, quest is priority. So in this turn in quest, this is probably one you guys see a lot, is the two walkie talkies you have to collect for Minty. Uh, you get 4K XP from it and then 7K money from it. This works out pretty well. Next quest will be the C1300 helmets. You will get 7K experience for turning in three of these. I usually find these a lot in Missile Silo, in the crates, in the elevator, and also near the bunker door. There are cases they spawn helmets too. So those are the places I usually find the helmets. Now the last and final item to collect is gonna be the M18 smoke grenades. You'll need a total of 10 of these and you'll get 5K experience from them. It's not a bad idea. I mean, I see these a lot in the drawers, so collecting these and stacking these up is not bad. Now the in raid kills that you need for Phoenix. One of the easiest missions is to kill Phoenixes. You'll get a thousand XP and 6K money from it, and also another killing quest to kill 15 of these guys, but you have to do this in three raids, and you'll get 5K experience, but I thought that was weird. When you get 32K, money from this that's kind of ridiculous and this is kind of where i eat 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 when it comes to money oh boy player kills i think is the easiest part for me now you'll need a total of five player kills and you'll get 4k experience and 6k money from this quest and the last one is killing 10 players but do this only with seven lives and you'll get 5k experience from the quest and 9k money from it so if this video helped you guys in any way if you don't mind stabbing that like button for me and stabbing that subscribe button i have more ghost of tabar videos coming your way also i help players get better at the game like our first timmy chris <laughs> He's way better than what he is now. So if you're looking for a one-on-one -on -one coaching, there's a link in the descriptions. But other than that, if you like videos like that, I do have a full guide on how to level up Spectre. And here's the video. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.